about your background in recruiting and as a, as a, as a coach um sort of what was um maybe behind the reason to to move on from that and kind of go on to other career opportunities um because because recruiting is something that it just fascinates me so much I'm, i mean I'm, I'm i'm literally obsessed with it um we're, we're not we're not even not even just like lsu recruiting i mean i'm just all over that all the time always checking 24 7 and um i just i just find it such a, an interesting concept to, to wrap your your mind around um and um yeah so if you could just maybe talk about that for for a bit and your your background in that <laughs> so to start with the reason why i moved on uh money sure. it doesn't pay and when i say it doesn't pay i don't mean it pays bad i mean i didn't make i wasn't paid one cent for either of my recruiting gigs um wow. yeah it, it was Okay. So I started recruiting at Bowling Green. Um, that's one of those things where I didn't think I could get in. I thought I'm like, no, it's former players. It's people that are coaches. Um, turns out it's not. So for any college students or high school students that are thinking about wanting to get into recruiting, um, first of all, it's very rewarding. Do it. it especially in college, you know, when you're not really expected to have a, a job. Yeah. Um, just find the right person. Just ask around. Ask around the athletic department. Find out who the recruiting coordinator is and just talk to them. I'm I'm not some star high school player. I, I played in high school. I wasn't that great. Um, no all-conference, none of that stuff. I, I started one year and that was it. So they don't look for you know, the all-state quarterback that played sure. Division three but doesn't play anymore because he didn't make the NFL. They, they don't look at that. You know, maybe... No, not, not even the big schools, not even LSU and stuff. If you want to be a student recruiter, just ask around and find out. Someone has the answer for you, and there will be an opportunity for you out there. Um, and so I really enjoyed what I did. I just kind of asked around and, and landed a gig with Bowling Green. I mean, you have to know what you're talking about. <laughs> don't, don't go in there expecting to, to not know anything about football um, and, and have them on to you. But, you know, it, it, there's a lot of uh, making lanyards and making schedules. And yeah. Some light graphic design, if, if you're good at that. It's a lot of talking to the recruits. Um, I drove an SUV for the first time in college, like a big SUV, like a Chevy Tahoe SUV for the first time in college, driving around recruits. Uh, there's a lot of that stuff. So yeah. um, when I moved on to Texas State, which actually I moved to Austin to take the Texas State recruiting uh, job. Right. No pay, 65 hours a week, paying my own rent, living on my own in a state a thousand yeah. miles away from my home. Yeah. Um, but there I actually got to watch tape and make recommendations. Um, and at Bowling Green, I got to make some light recommendations. I actually got uh, a kid signed um, who was one of my recommendations, which was really exciting. Wow. But then at Texas State, I did a lot of film breakdown, but it's still a lot of, hey, go make this copy. Hey, yeah. you know, go drive to the store and go pick up in order of cookie cakes that I have for these recruits coming in. So it's it quite literally is paper pushing and being the intern, um, you know, getting your boss a cup of coffee. Sure. But it's fascinating. It really is. Getting to talk to these recruits, you know, you get to meet with such a diverse group of people from all backgrounds, all socioeconomic classes, yeah. um, all around the country, really, uh, depending on what um, what school you're you're recruiting for. And I, I really enjoyed my time recruiting. Um, I did end up moving on for a couple of reasons. Um, one, it didn't pay very well. And two, I just didn't see a route forward that would have happened in any uh, efficient amount of time. Uh, right. You know, recruiting and coaching is something that's you really have to put the work in. And those at the top, they put the work in and that's great. Um, but you know, the pressure of paying your rent and that kind of stuff <clears throat> gets to be a little bit much, um, at least for me. So that's why I moved on. And I've always worked in sports since I finished high school all the way through college. And then a couple of years after I was working in sports and I finally got to sit back and be the fan. Um, yeah. and I personally found out that I enjoy that more, but right. there's a lot of people that want to be on the sidelines during game day. There's a lot of people that want to be on the road recruiting and being a part of the production, um, and so for those people stick with it, don't, yeah. don't quit out, you know, kind of like I did on that, but my time recruiting was definitely valuable. Um, it helped me number one, interact with 
diverse people and be able to talk to anybody because when a recruit comes campus, they're not coming to campus with conversations and taking the lead on driving conversations. So if you're hanging out with this recruit all day, you better be able to talk to people because if it's awkward silence, they're not going to be that impressed. Yes, of course. And, you know, there, there's been times where I've been with the recruit and they felt so at home. <laughs> One of them accidentally slipped it to me that he was going to commit. And that's not, the, I'm, not I'm not the person you're supposed to tell yeah. that. You tell the coach that. You don't tell me that. Yeah. Um, but it, it was it was a really fun experience. And just being able to interact with everybody was my favorite part. Yeah. Oh, no. Thank you so much for that insight. That's, that's really amazing to hear. Thank you. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm sorry for, you know, those who are looking to be recruiters and get into it. And I started off just, you know, so negative Nancy about it, but it, you know, I, I always do want to tell people the truth about it. Cause I don't, you don't want to get in it and then be knees deep in and be like, Oh, this isn't what I want to do. Like you have yeah. to know up front that yes. it's a lot of work. You're not going to get paid for the work and you're, you're the, the bottom man on the totem pole, but yeah. it's super rewarding yeah. Your job is watching film and watching football and evaluating. Yeah. And it's cool to know that there are people out there that if you're recruiting, they value your opinion. <laughs>